Holy Cross at Prayer for March 25th, 2021. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. And a reading from Luke chapter 1 for the Annunciation of our Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth hour with her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. In the midst of Lent, we have this glimmer this picture of our Lord's conception through the womb of the Virgin Mary. She says amen to the word of the angel, Gabriel, and in her amen lies the salvation of the whole world. For the one born in her womb is the very Son of God. He who is shapes what he does for us. Nothing is impossible with God, for God is all about doing the impossible for us. Let us pray. Show your grace to build this day as he goes about the callings you have given to him. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of the angel to the Virgin Mary, so by the message of his cross and passion, bring us to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.